bury them. Do you want their stuff? Them. Yeah, I, I do want the stuff, but that, that that's later. Bury them. Do you want their stuff? Them. Yeah, I, I do want the stuff, but that, that that's later after the group. The boat, and then, yeah, we got the money. We got the boat. I feel like we haven't really done anything, to be honest. We have so much potential. Yeah. Like, bury them. There. Do you I'll want their stuff? Them. Shared. Yeah, I, I do want the stuff. Did I mention today's probably that's my last later. session? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, last session for a while, just for a while. Yeah. I that. Well, it's we're gonna miss next week anyway. I was, I was literally was about to do week, the like. Someone had to not be there anyway. Uh, that sucks. I, I was uh, literally about to do, like, the little bit that I usually do at the beginning of the stream. Like, I was going to perfectly segue when Bob was like, well, we haven't really done anything. And I was going to be like, well, what did we do last week kind of thing, right? <laughs> to, like, tee it up. But Jason resubbed exactly at that moment, and I don't like speaking over the alerts. So I just sat there and, like, let it go. And <laughs> you guys kept going, now the moment's lost. I just wanted you to know that perfect segue was there. And Jason we fucked it, it all up. It's totally fine. I appreciate the two dollars <laughs> and fifty fine. cents. Appreciate you. <laughs> uh, I pushed back the ads for a couple of minutes. Anyway, it's fine. Uh, hey, we got a uh, uh, hype train, so that's cool. Um, yeah. So Taylor's not here. I mean, he's currently here, but he's getting his food. Uh, we just get a really close up on a Walmart shopping bag. Apparently, is what that looks like. That's the only thing in focus. I see the Walmart logo, yeah. but yeah. I see the logo. Yeah. yeah. So anyway. It's like um, the Walmart bag in another bag. No, we need to get into yeah. this. No, we no, need no, to wait, figure I... it out. <laughs> Hold on. Let me zoom in. <laughs> Enhance. 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 Well, we, can, we can't like create more bits, right? He has to send more bits so what do you like, mean that's what enhancing is enhance <laughs> <laughs> look i clicked on his image over. uh it ruined the overlay but it it's all crappy now <laughs> I, th I actually think it's enhanced <laughs> when it's smaller it's not as pixely <laughs> anyway. i always thought that was just the funniest shit ever when i was a kid it just... super true and oh, every enhance. time i laughed every <laughs> single enhance. time so good i mean it's it's, like, it's a decent picture yeah it's not bad so anyway, um, we we got we got stuff we got to do. Speaking of you guys having not done much, um, things have happened, and uh, the world keeps on moving. 
So, yeah, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, Twitch, go ahead and Twitch, uh, subscribe, Twitch Prime, blah, blah, blah. Love you long time. If you're watching this on YouTube, check out the Twitch stream. We go live every Monday, 6.30 to 10-ish. Um, except for when we don't. <laughs> <laughs> But we're trying to fill that content with, like, Baldur's Gate or something like that. Speaking of which, we'll probably play in Baldur's Gate next week, because I think somebody won't be here. Uh, we'll figure it out. But in any case, <laughs> check out the Twitch stream. Uh, some of us sometimes talk there, so feel free to join us. Anyway, um, <laughs> that was enough of that. Uh, let's see. Hopefully everybody had a good Christmas and um, New Year's, and uh, we're back, so... Somebody tell us what happened last session. I'll go. <laughs> and right. One of you guys is going to have to step up next week. Now we'll just call that you. That was a preemptive for next week. That's right. <laughs> yeah, every Monday we're just going to hey, call you to give the recap. Week? Yeah. <laughs> It'll be my test whether or not I watch the VOD. Okay. Um, <laughs> we, we went shopping. Um, and we did a lot of shopping. And I... What was important to my character is I found that the Librum of Souls and Flesh was at the Curiosity Cabinet in Garriott with a vendor calling himself Dion. So I made a little mental note of that. Vinveris purchased a strange orb for one copper. He paid gold. And it destroys all items within 100 feet with a common word. Uh, we went to Lyrian's trial. Uh, she was executed by the Inquisition. Um, we we kind of botched tra resurrecting her. Um, to be I fair, that wasn't on rights. you guys. She started speaking <laughs> in the throat of a hundred people. We suspect that her soul is with the evil possessor person, uh, the not Orcus. Um, and not Orcus appeared. A fiend of some kind climbed from the ruin of her body. The creature was formidable. Its auras confused, deafened, mute, and drew us in closer. And Kaido managed to call for help. And Eris gathered his men and came to our aid, but before he reached us, uh, we bought, fought it back into the ground through its fiery fissures. And then we explained to Eris what happened, and we parted on good terms with an invitation to lunch at his place, and we retired at the boat. All of that is entirely accurate. I think we should stress, definitely not Orcus. It was definitely, Def not, definitely Orcus. not Orcus. <laughs> I just want to stress to the stream, all right? It was not Orcus. I'm not fucking with you. The players are they're trying to make it seem like it might have been Orcus. It wasn't Orcus. That was a placeholder token. It was not Orcus. His name was Yeah, totally. It, it, totally it, not, name not Orcus. Really was like, I was trying not Orcus. <laughs> Look, Obviously, I'm, it's not Orcus. I'm not guys. meaning. I named it definitely not Orcus because I didn't want one of you guys to be like, "Hey, is that Orcus?" Yeah, you definitely were memeing. I, I was trying to head memeing. that off, and you yeah, guys were like, right. mm, "Sure, it's not Orcus." The meme. I laughed so hard I just <laughs> inhaled a lot of onion, and now I'm crying. So thank you for that. You're welcome. <laughs> just enjoy that. That was definitely not Orcus who did that. Yep. Yeah. Right. Look, just wait till you start, guys. You guys start meeting some other mythological creatures. They do exist. Orcus is in my world, but that was definitely not Orcus, is what I'm getting at. Definitely not Cthulhu will come out later. Yeah, that was his son, <laughs> Orcus. <laughs> his cousin, Borcus. <laughs> oh, He's shit. from the colder climate. Yes, exactly. His name is actually just Junior. <laughs> Junior. <laughs> Orcus Junior. Yeah. I mean, orcs exist, and they do have a god, and uh, presumably it is slash was Orcus. But um, that was not Orcus. It was just a template. Moving on. Um, you keep saying that, but that doesn't make me believe you. Okay, tell you what. If you don't believe me, use one of your... Uh, fuck, what was it? Vizier. Yeah, use one of your viziers. And ask me. <laughs> the party's got three of them right now. If you want to know the answers, all you got to do is oh, ask. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Those aren't given to the party. Those are held close sorry, to Sorry, 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 sorry. Bob's got two. Lauren's got one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the party has three. Totally. Jason's original character has one. If you could find him and talk to him and ask him to use it. Oh, the NPCs yeah, sure probably already use it to like gain ultimate knowledge of the campaign, right? Oh, uh, see, that's smart, but I wouldn't do that to you guys. You oh, guys okay. want it fair mm. and square. 
That's, that'll be a fun conversation with Ember. Hey, we ran into your sister. <laughs> and him being like, I know, I, 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 can, I used I the vizier. <laughs> oh! Found her. Okay. Well, then you know we tried. Yeah. Okay, the ad break's over. We're good to go. Um, <laughs> so, uh, it is shortly before noon, or shortly after breakfast. Uh, you're called somewhere in that middle section. Uh, what would you guys like to do as you're chilling on your ship? We should rest. Uh, I think we need to do a long rest. Uh, Agreed. Well, you just woke up, so you can't yeah. do a long rest, but you can do a short rest if you'd like. Perhaps we could, you oh, know, could sleep. just sit here and, and uh, you know, look Lick at our the, wounds. Look at the boat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. While I heal up life. a little bit. Yes. We should decide where we're planning on going next. It's actually a great journey. idea. I, we... I think we were, were we heading off around the continent here? Or yeah, was... we were going to go make you King of Black Marsh, I think. That's, that's kind of what I was thinking, but I don't remember if that's what we ended with. Because I it's... think that was our think... hottest lead. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Just, does anybody oppose that? Nope. Okay. No? All right. Not. Well, then that's probably where we'll, we'll be heading. Um, do, and I'm pretty sure after our shopping spree uh, yesterday or this morning, I don't remember. I got hit on the head a couple times. Um, <laughs> what was it just afternoon right now? Yes. Um, I, I think we're we're good, right? We don't need anything before we leave, so we could just. Uh, yeah, we got everything. Quite literally I mean, everything. Well, okay. So <laughs> yes. technically, should we? Uh, I mean, we could rest for the hour if we need. And then just kind of pack up and go, and then uh, yeah, get some dinner on the boat from our new chef, and indulge on the sea. Uh, can I grab some spell components real quick, just from some mini shop? Yeah, sure. Uh, Curiosity cabinet has some, um, or uh, that's actually closest to the ship. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll go there then. There's a couple other places, of course. <gasps> Do but... you need the party bank? Uh, no, just a couple odds and ends. Okay. Is there any other... I know, I know you guys had a couple of uh, thoughts on the go. Um, was there anything else that you guys wanted to wrap up in town? Or are you just hightailing it out of here? Uh, there was some inv investigations in the Undercity that you guys were in the middle of doing. And uh, there was the invitation from Eris for some lunch. What did you guys I have? We went to lunch already. You might have went we to went, lunch already. No, we did the tea um, yesterday. We went for tea at his house, and then we met his mom, and then they yeah. were all like, we're going to kill Larian tomorrow. And then they killed yeah. Larian. And then we were invited shopping after for like six too. hours. Did we go to his house? We got invited for tea, but we were like really beaten up after the battle, so I don't know if we mm. went for tea. I don't remember. Quick, somebody Where's check the vote. I, uh, <laughs> I don't think we actually went to him afterwards. I don't think. No, wait. Maybe we did. My last note is we head back to the boat and end. Yeah, that was my last. Note. I think I think we ended pretty promptly because it was late. Oh yeah, hmm. the, yeah. Combat was like right up to like nine fifty or something like that. Uh, I, think, I, 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 I still I feel recall. I feel vaguely uneasy around Eris, even though he was coming to save our bacon. I I know I think that I think <clears> he thinks he's doing the right thing, but I also think that we're magic users in somewhat, and he wants to murder us. I, I'm up for either there. We can we can go have the lunch with him um, after our, our little rest here, because I, I know we look a little wear, worse than wear here. Mm -hmm. Or uh, we could just we could just leave. I mean, I would vote for just leave. Yeah, I got, so I got, I seems I got nothing keeping me here. All right, we okay. got a couple of leaves. I think we just leave then. Yeah, just show us along the way. All right. Is that is that possible? Um, yeah. I can also okay. cast... Um, Prayer of healing on us as well. If we are worried, some of us are quite low. And um, don't want to spend. Uh, I feel like I'm just going to uh, while while I'm resting here, I'll, I'll you know patch myself up a little. I spend a couple hit dies. Yeah. Fair. Because hit, hit dies just heal me, right? Correct. Is that how that works? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's I, I'm not messing with a curse then. that deeply, like. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be intense. Hmm. Um, okay. So, is, healing is up to six people. Is so, anybody going oh, with sorry. Merrick? 
to Kira's the cabinet or just him by himself? I would go. Okay. Stick I'm by stay my in the boat. Gun priest buddy. Staying on the boat. I have a prayer to do. I'll be in my bunk. But before I go, <laughs> I would definitely heal the two of us. For okay. sure. You know that? And I should have interesting. Oops. What are we fighting? Wow, wow. It's an interesting spell to cast. Uh, the four. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, the six people that you choose uh, for the prayer of healing heal 16, except if you're part of the curse. Uh, I picked the four just to make it easy for the curse. So oh, everybody okay. just heals 16. Cool. And then I just pick all of us, so everybody heals 16. It's also a terrible roll. Gotcha. Really, really upset about that. Okay, everybody heals 16, and then uh, any hit dice on top of that. So, um... Oh, thank you for the heal. Okay, so Merrick and uh, Gran, you guys head off to the Curiosity Cabinet. Uh, what are you looking to buy? Uh, Incense spell components. Okay. 100 gold worth of. Yep. You can find that easily enough. And that's it. Cool. Uh, did you want to do anything, Gran? No, I'm just there for the ride. Okay. And I'm, I'm, I am really another hit die though, because that's brutal. While they're doing that, back at the boat, uh, what are you guys all doing while you're waiting for them to get back? Uh, I'm working on my armor and weapons. Okay. I have some words for my amulet. Okie dokie. I'm just going to be awkwardly hanging out on the top of the ship while I'm trying to heal myself. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to get my shit to work here. Sending it. There we go. Five. Six. Okay. I'll be here for a moment. That's better. That's a decent hit die right there. Okay, so that's what? Two, three. I'll do four. Okay, I'm looking better. Okay. Um, okay. So I tell my amulet that the Librum of Souls and Flesh is at the Curiosity Cabinet in Garriott with a vendor named D-E-O-N. And I explicitly spell his name instead of saying it. Okay. Smart. I like it. Yeah. People know when you say their names if they're magic enough. I have a, <laughs> I have a, I have a suspicion. Uh, you could be right. In fact, you may be. Uh, does your necklace allow for a return message? I believe it does, right? Just one. Okay. Uh, is there a word limit? No. Oh, okay. Um, he tends to go on. Yeah. Let's see. What would he say? Or rather, how would he say it? Because I know what he's And he say. doesn't need to always respond right away? Oh, no, he would. He, there's some stuff going on. Um, okay. Okay. He says, Thanks for the information. Things are complicated. A being known as Nykthelios, the abyssal monarch, has made himself known to the world. We need to speak. Go to a shop called the End of the Line. Speak to Kelly. Ask for the Death Rose. Preferably go alone. And that's all.
uh, do I know if End of the Line is in town? Um, you've probably seen that these guys been walking around. Uh, it's in the art district. Actually, did you guys go to the art district? You guys went there once. Make a history check. With advantage. So you guys been in town a couple of days. Good thing hey, advantage! advantage. <laughs> Plus it was a natural <laughs> 20, so okay, yes. Um, yes, you, you do know that the end of the line is in Garriott. It's in the art district. Um, it is actually pretty close to the, like, uh, kind of cellar door entrance to the Undercity that you guys originally came to. Um, it is a playhouse where they are very well known for putting on plays of death. And <clears throat> uh, as they like to say, the question of, fin of final... Ugh, fucking words are hard. It's a Monday, boys. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> where they put on plays about death and the questionability of the finality of mortal lives, as they put it. Man, that's so much to type. <laughs> Stop adding depth to your world. I'm sorry. I'll just make it one dimensional with no depth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sad you guys didn't go there for a play like early on, but I was trying not to like be heavy handed with all the like cool places to go in the town. So it's like man. Uh yeah, I'm gonna slip off the boat. Okay. Hey guys, be right back. Going for a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna get some milk. I dad. And he never came back. <laughs> he never came back. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that's amusing. Okay, I'm assuming you're gonna walk to the art district. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I might go directly to the art district to the end of the line. Okay. Uh, look for Kelly and ask for the death rose. Okay. Uh, as you're walking um, towards the art district, uh, you see coming through the narrow part of the art district that you have to get through between the trade district and the art district to get to the docks, uh, you see a familiar looking um, big robotic companion and your friend um, Merrick. Hello. Hey, guys. Hey. How you doing? Uh, great. Um, I, I'm not going to lie to you. Good. I got to go hmm. check out a death cleric thing. Uh, I plan on coming back, but sometimes things go crazy. And if I'm not back by tonight, you should tell the guys to go. Tell me to just like wait outside. I can just stand still for a really long time. No, I believe hmm. that. Um, but if you guys leave... I would be able to find you. Well, that's good at least. And I'll come back. Because <laughs> part of that boat is mine. <laughs> yeah, but you're also part is. of running that boat. So we should wait. I'll just stand right here. It's fine. And you just see me just kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it might take a little longer than that. Maybe. Maybe hedge and, and continue on with your day. All right, I'm we'll just, do that. I'm just out for a walk. Or now a stand. <laughs> <laughs> if, if Merrick, if you're not going, I'll, I'll just come with you. It's fine. Yeah. Good luck. Hope to see you again soon. If not, it's been nice. You as well. <laughs> Thanks for, you know everything it's been well, interesting <laughs> interesting is definitely the right word but being so close to death brings people together I've been telling you for does. years <laughs> <laughs> death cult all right grave cult <laughs> grave cult my bad sorry i'm in a gun cult so hey yeah. That really benefits us both. <laughs> hey man, one man's cult is another man's religion, all right? Let's not, you know. Mm, fair. Yeah, we got buildings and stuff. Yeah. We're pretty legit. We have guns. <laughs> and buildings. And buildings. Which are very hard to question. Yeah. 
All right, so you guys separate, uh, Merrick and Gran heading towards the boat, and uh, Ebby heading into uh, the art district. Uh, you eventually come to the very large uh, playhouse known as the End of the Line. Uh, the building is... It looks like it was once a large playhouse that maybe burned down. Um, the exterior is all, like, charred wood. Um, and the end of the line appears to be written in red paint, um, uh, right above the entrance doorway, which are a set of large double doors, uh, which appears to used to have a door handle, but no longer does. And you just see that circular cutout where a door handle would be. Um, and yeah, you can actually see into the building through that hole if you wanted to, but yeah, uh, that's the exterior. <laughs> Very creepy looking. I, I push on through. Very inviting. Okay. Um, inside, you see a person sitting at the kind of front desk um, as you enter. And uh, she's wearing all black. Um, black hair. You know, black, black all of that. Um, her face is painted completely corpse white. And, uh, accentuated by, you know, some red lipstick and, you know, eyeliner and, and all that stuff. But, uh, basically, she's, like, doing her best job to, like, audition for, like, a Norwegian black metal band, basically. That's the image that it invokes, right? Um, Big fan. Yeah. And as you walk closer to the front counter, uh, you realize that she is either a child or, like, a halfling. Um, because she stands, like two and a half feet tall and seems to be sitting on a very large high chair as you walk in. Um, and she just kind of looks up at you and goes, yeah, uh, what do you want? Hey, are you Kelly? Yeah. What's it to you? Um, you gotta buy a ticket if you want to watch the show. I'm looking for something more interesting. Uh, -huh. like to inquire about a death rose. She just kind of like looks at you and like narrows her eyes a little bit. All right, come around. You see her start to rummage through uh, a couple of drawers in front of her. She wants you to walk around the side of the desk. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll hustle around. Okay. Uh, as you do, she's rustling some stuff. You can see there's a couple of things in there. Dagger, a uh, couple of vials of ominous different types of liquids. And uh, she pulls out a board... Uh, approximately two feet w uh, wide, about a foot long, uh, maybe two inches thick, with what appears to be like a bowl in the center of it. And uh, she sets that down on the table and then goes, "All right, uh, yeah, I don't. You ever you ever used one before? You got somebody to fill it up? Uh, n no, that'll be you. Uh." Fun. 2,500 of diamonds, and uh, it'll take you anywhere you want to go. But oh. uh, that that's not the death rose. That's just what I was told to give to the person asking for the death rose. So uh, oh. here's the death rose. And you fear, you feel a very sharp pain in your stomach suddenly. And your vision starts to slowly fade and shrink and shrink and shrink till it looks like you're looking through binoculars and then a monocular and then a straw. And as you look down with your last final moments of lucidity, you see her hand outstretched and a dagger holding a hilt right up to your chest and blood dripping down your front and making a pool on the floor as you die. Here's the question. Do you want the party to hear this next bit, or do you want it to be a surprise? If I'm going to be gone for this long, I feel like I shouldn't leave them hanging. Fair enough. But that also would have been the first headphones off of this campaign. It would. That's fair. Uh, you You've know what? A very open party this time. It's weird. It, it has been. Do you guys want to have it be like a mystery, or would you guys want to be in the loop? Because it's your game too. 
Uh, you're muted. I'll, I'll yeah. leave it to you. I'm good either way. Yeah, same. Yeah, I don't mind. Your dealer choice. Me personally, I would to love to know. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't mind going being being the whole I I know nothing character wise, mm -hmm. and go do the mystery solving. But if it me helps, personally. I'm of two minds. I have intentionally strayed away from as many headphones off moments as I did in the last campaign because there was a lot of them. Um, so I wanted the party to be more like involved, but anytime there is secret information, I've been PMing you guys. Unfortunately, this is a pretty long scene that can't really be PM'd, and also there's some going to be some back and forth, so that's why I give you the option. <clears throat> Let Holden Sorry, decide. My kid wants me to draw. All good. Let, Hol let Holden decide. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Should Daddy do this alone, or should his friends watch? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do headphones off. Is, is it a quick? Is it, like, I'm not going to be, like, uh, making them wait ten minutes. Maybe ten minutes. All right, then they're in on it. Okay. Nice. Okay. Uh, Here's the meta, guys. So, the final moments that you see of your life are of looking down and seeing this small woman's hand outstretched, dagger buried to the hilt in your stomach as you crumble into a pile on the floor surrounded by a pool of your own blood. And you find yourself in a massive black void with nothing around you. There's no stars, there's no chairs, no tables, no food, no water, no life, no death, no anger, no hate, no joy, nothing to inspire to, just a blank void of absolute nothingness. My mind, because uh, I've died before, so my mind sets to wander. This isn't what happened last time. Nope. I whisper, did you do it? Am I here? No, technically you did it. And you spin and turn around and see a familiar 1T figure standing there, cowled, in this void with you it says you asked for it to be fair I did so this is this means so much you may have guessed by now this is not true death um, this is what the souls see before we catch them we catch them. I'm in the siphon. You're in that moment before you're caught. And you go one of two ways. To the afterlife or to me. This is that bridge. Welcome. It can be well, anything God. you want it to be. And he like turns around and you see as he's sitting there and he turns, you see this black void slowly start to warp into a large precipice of a cliff with a river and a waterfall and as he turns around and you both stand there at the top of this cliff you see this waterfall go down 200 300 400 600 800 a thousand feet into this pool at the bottom and you're actually overlooking a very familiar site that you've seen before the city of the dead just a couple of miles off your right shoulder. Large and in its splendor, you smell the familiar scents, grave moss, the trees, Shit the tons wind. of incense. <laughs> incense, yes. <laughs> and Scratch kind of turns to you and says, this is what it could be. Or anything you want it to be. So you haven't shaped it yet, it's not permanent? Or does it keep changing? This is what I like to see. What would you like to see? This makes me very happy. Wait, am I dead permanently? Or I mean, like uh, I was last time? 
We can or, circle back to that. <laughs> it's complicated. Yeah, I have too many questions. I will address as many as I can. Um, Wait, am I the first one here? Uh, there's been many souls that have come through here. You're the first one in this particular shard you can consider. Oh, so we're individualized? It's not um, like, um, like a conscious place? <sighs> Think of the souls leaving mortals as fish in a river. And when you get to a divide in the river, this is that divide. Down one way, you end at me. Down the other way, afterlife. Paradise, hells, depending on your choices in life. Uh, I've simply put a net out and I catch a couple of fish here or there. And, um, that's currently where you are. I can toss you back in the river, or I can keep you for myself. I've done it a couple hundred, maybe thousand times so far, so I've pretty much got it down to a science. This is excellent. But I ask again, what do you want to see? Where do you want to go? I don't know. I left my whole life behind when I entered the new body. I was moving forward, you know? Mm -hmm. And honestly, to see the necropolis at the height of its strength is magnificent, since we worked so hard on it. Well, this is devoid of life. This is only uh, what I see it as. I can't make the souls manifest here. So... It actually looks much more magnificent than this in person. You'll see smokestacks of, you know, coming out of all the chimneys and all that stuff. You don't see that here because there's no souls here. Just you. Just me. So we can invent places, not people. Uh, you could invent people, but it gets tricky. Um, people are sure to notice if their souls get pulled from their body. And if too many populate this place. Well, the souls gotta come from somewhere. So I either fish too many out of the sea to populate this shard, or I draw them back from the people I've already, um, collected, you could say. Uh, one thins my numbers, the other draws attention. The kind of divine attention that you probably don't want to attract. You're building me a house. On the contrary, you build yourself a house. It kind of points past your shoulder. Do you turn? Of course. What kind of house would Ebby... Describe the, the house that Ebby has in his mind. That he sees. I want to live... In, I, I've always wanted to be in the main temple with the high priests in the, the cliff face. Okay. So you see, as you turn around, the cliff face... You see the temple built into it. You see on the little, you know, place where people, you know, drop their notes in little mailboxes. You see your name on one of the mailboxes. So, could you filter other souls to be in here with me in this shard? Absolutely. Um... I generally keep each soul to its own shard until I'm ready to use that soul. Uh, I wouldn't... There's a problem when people become too self-aware. Uh, they tend to want autonomy. And... Oh, that's a problem. In a place like this, I can't allow that. Um, if you have autonomy, you can make choices. If you can make choices, you are not a great servant. So... He's having the same problem as the architect in the Matrix. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I see you caught one of the inspirations for this place. You'll never guess where another one is. That was a joke. Taylor knows. Even if he hasn't figured it out yet, he knows. Anyway. But, uh... In theory, yeah, I could I could bring a couple of souls in here. I don't think you'll be staying for long, though. This place just makes a very convenient place to chat. Um, 
When you sent your message, I knew that we needed to have a more in-depth conversation. And I couldn't have that without having a face-to-face. -face. So, sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, I had to... Well, you had to die so that your soul could be caught in the net. Of course. Actually, if I die in any other circumstance, do I just end up back in the shard? If I know it's going to happen and I place the net. I can't leave the net out there forever. You'll catch too many fish. Thus, drawing the attention. Basically, when I need a soul, I toss the net, catch a soul, pull the net back out. So as long as I tell you? Yeah, in theory. Hopefully I haven't used my message for the day. And hopefully I haven't caught too many souls in that moment, or moments leading up to it. Are you concerned about any of the uh, curious parties? Whether they be High Temple Priest or other rival gods? Uh, again, that's part of a longer conversation. Well, I mean, we could get into that. I should probably tell you about the things where things stand, then you can ask your questions. Currently, I mentioned this creature, uh, Nycthelios the Abyssal Monarch. Uh, he's made himself known to not just myself and the rest of the Nine, but Kalepna themselves has spoken to us, to the Nine. And told us to be on our look for uh, some sort of cult that is being created. Um, mindless husks. Soul-warped creatures. Whatever reads this abyssal monarch's passages and its tomes, their souls become entwined with theirs. And he can take them over. And the more it happens, the closer entwined they become until... That soul is gone, and nothing remains in that husk but Nithelios themselves. And, well, that's, that's wherein lies the issue. You see, I don't need to tell you, but in my particular line of work, souls are kind of important. And... Well, I can't have some other being warping souls or consuming them. It kind of encroaches on my territory. So, we have to figure something out. And, there's a little bit of a snafu. And he kind of waves his hand a little bit. And you see that beautiful visage in front of you of the City of the Dead slowly start to warp as if in a heat haze as if looking across you know when you're driving down a really hot road and you look and you can see the heat coming off the road you see that kind of heat haze kind of waft up in front of you and you see the image of the city slowly change in front of you you see bits of walls missing you see the outer walls have been breached you see several of the buildings have collapsed he says, The issue is, he attacked us when we were not aware. Now that we are, we are better defended. But we did take a beating. And we've completely closed off the city. You can't come here by normal means anymore. There's only two ways in, two ways out. And... He kind of looks back a little bit, and you see this thick, thick fog kind of roll in. But it doesn't cover the city. The city itself is left completely alone, but this fog completely surrounds the city. You can see the docks. The fog completely swarms over them, and then stops at the outer walls of the city. He says, we created the fog. The travelers maintain the only way is to travel the fog. They've sunk ships in the ocean to create a reef to make anybody sailing here well they'll fall and if you traverse the fog 
assuming that you don't get turned around and lost, well, there's the obvious dangers of the world, and um, it's always been a perilous place to travel around here. So many cliffs. Who can say what could happen to you? The eulogies maintain the fog. <clears throat> the dustmen, quarrymen, and stickmen make up the bulk of the fighting forces. But the silence has been silent. We're so being sieged. Typing. We are. And we've closed, <clears throat> as I said, we've been, we've, we've closed ourselves off a little bit. We're stopping the bleeding now. But I'm ready to go on the offensive. And therein lies the problem. This is why I need you. This is why I had you be killed so we could speak, so you could know my intention. I give you this choice willingly. You can choose to say no, and I'll wake another. You are the only one, currently, of a select group of people that you belong to. And you are the only one I can ask for this. If you say no, that's fine. I'll make another, and they can do it. No. But you've been awake, so maybe you. Choose me. All right. I need somebody to watch my back while I do an incredibly dangerous and incredibly stupid ritual. That's what got us here in the first place, right? Yeah, this one is incredibly stupid, though. I... I didn't want to say anything, but the first <laughs> one was too. Oh, this one's worse. I promise you that. In fact, all of the other nine universally agreed that I'm crazy and would not help with this ritual. So I have to do it alone. And you know we agree on everything. Most of the time. Well, in this case, they won't help. And what the ritual is, is I'm going to bore a teeny tiny little hole through the celestial barrier uh, to speak to and possibly get the help of Kalebna himself. To stop this abyssal monarch. I've got you back. All right. Uh, I should give you a little bit of fair warning. Some of the high priests, uh, when they hear of this, may not be happy and will probably try to attack me. Uh, you, you're probably going to need to kill several people uh, in the defense of my life. That, too, is something that we dealt with before. I just want to put all the cards on the table. Well, when you awaken and You'll have your opportunity here in a moment to ask any questions you'd like. Uh, we're not on any sort of timetable here. Uh, you are in a place of suspended... Um, let's say the passage of time doesn't work normally here, as it does in other places. Um, you could spend a year here, and only 30 seconds will have passed back where your friends are. It's, it's weird. Uh, let's put my questions on pause, then. I've got to step away for a second for a holding thing. Yep. So we can switch back to the group. Absolutely. Okay. So what's the group doing over at the ship? I believe the term is vibing. Mm -hmm. uh, I have uh, fabricate now as a spell. Yeah. Uh, and I was wondering um, how creative we can get with Fabricate. Like, would I be able to use Fabricate to, like, potentially fuse my gun with, like, the the rope of climbing I bought in some sort of way? I, I'll PM you about it, but this is what I would be working on during this time. Okay. I'm probably just making silver balls. Also that. Probably I mean, so you, you, you want to make a grappling hook gun, basically, is what I you're do, trying to say. yes. Yeah. Um, to your gun or your arm? 
I think it would be gun first and then arm eventually. Okay. Um, well, actually, I guess that's a question. Would fabricate work on myself? I'd say both would be possible. Fabricate on yourself? I'm not sure. We, we're going to have to... That's going to be a longer mm -hmm. conversation you and I will have to yeah, have. Yeah, for sure. But... Either option could, in theory, work. Uh, the gun, while could work, would be a mon monumentally stupid idea. Okay. Because once you convert that to a grappling gun, you can't shoot, like, bullets with it anymore, right? It, it's strictly a grappling hook with, like, a 50-foot rope. Like, how do you put Oh, I figured it would be, it? like... Yeah, well... And then assuming that you could make that work... What would the clerics say when they find out that you yeah, manipulated gun, yeah. and mutilated something, uh, a religious artifact that is extremely dear to their entire beings, <laughs> you know? That's a good point, yeah. It's like, have you guys uh, ever realized that the Bible makes for great toilet paper? Like, bro, what? You know, I mean, we so could fabricate that. In, <laughs> I mean, you could, absolutely. Yeah. I'm just reading Fabricate again. Uh, it does say creatures or magic items can't be created or transmuted by this spell. So, there's that. Sorry, say that again? Uh, the, the spell says... Um, uh, no creatures can be created or transformed by the spell. So, that answers okay. that. And you are a creature, so... Mm -hmm. However, that doesn't mean that what you want can't be done. We can absolutely make it happen in another way. I mean, if we just remove your arm, it becomes an object, right? Yeah. That's a good point. You, 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 can, like, you can literally make arm attachments for yourself if you want to. Uh, yes, literally, like, very much do. You can literally just be like, click arm off okay cool grappling arm okay i mean I you could absolutely on... do that let's work on that then that, that's sure. what i will be doing <laughs> sure do you have any steel for raw materials um or iron no but if we need it kinda... I, I would go buy it okay yeah you have money still. we should have some in the repair materials for the boat right it's gonna yeah, need a lot to wouldn't... fabricate a whole new arm yeah i wouldn't take it away from the ship also a full it's just like this much. It's like four arm. Okay, yeah. What? Well, same thing. Same thing. It's. It, I'm just saying, like the circuitry yeah. that's involved, the actual Fair arm enough. itself. You don't want it to be like flimsy, made out of like stainless steel. You'd never be able to grapple with your own weight. Yeah. Right? Uh, I would. Yeah, I would buy anything. I would think mm -hmm. I would need to do that. Actually, we I, should buy a bunch of steel just to repair stuff in case we need it, because yeah. we do have fabricate now. Yeah. So I will buy a shit ton of steel and a shit ton of iron as well, and like. Mm -hmm lug it back to the boat yeah i'll help you and i would pay with well i guess how much would it be i don't know what raw materials cost in this world so uh it's player's handbook prices uh i don't know if there is any though that shit's in the player might be for steel checking item steel there's adamantin bar oh this is wild beyond the twitch or which light i almost said twitch light uh, four gold pieces. Per. Per. Bar? Per pound? It, it would be per, per bar, but I don't know how big a bar is. On? I'd say like f maybe four or five bars. Would Adam probably... Adamantium bar is ten pounds. Adamantium bar. Oh shit, can I make my stuff out of adamantium? You could. Ooh. It's a thousand that. gold for a single bar. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I do, I do have like. So okay, would a ten-pound bar of adamantium be enough to make an arm attachment? I don't actually know how much you'd need. If you could tell you what, if you guys can work out the math of how much material you would actually need to be able to make an artificial arm, I'll just allow that. You could just do an adamantium coated arm. Yeah, oh, that too. here's an idea. While we finish Rain. up the scene with Derek Rain. and I, why don't one of you guys Google how much raw materials goes into making a prosthetic arm? And yeah, then we'll just right. extrapolate from that. That makes sense. Okay. 
Derek's back. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> So, so, uh, are we right back into it? Yeah. Um, so Scratch, will, we would Scratch will finish what he was saying. Um, yeah, there's, there's a little bit of opposition, not just from the nine, but then the priests as well. Some of them, when they hear about it, may not be happy. Some of them, when they hear about it, might question what I've been doing alone all this time. Not everybody knows about the souls and the catching of them. Most do. But not everybody. Um, when... Since you're going to take this up for me, I can't actually transport you here uh, through this place. So you will be given an object. Um, it's a board with a bowl in it. Uh, put 2,500 gold worth of diamonds into it. Think of a place. Draw a ritual circle. I'm telling you this out of order. Draw a rip ritual circle. Then, 2,500 gold into the bowl. In the middle of the ritual circle. Think of a place you want to be. And just cast the incantation. And you will completely disappear from there. And reappear wherever you thought you wanted to be. You could come straight here if you wanted to. Do you need me to bring anything since you're being sieged? Hmm. You know, it's been a minute. Um, a thunderbox would be great. I don't think they're on this continent. That's a shame. I'd have to check around. Did I actually see one? I don't think I saw one. One is in Garriott. I don't. I don't know which one. I had a twenty on my it. my place history. Yeah, I, I know I definitely brought it up one time, but you guys were in the middle of doing something. So the one sure does exist it. in Garriott. Yeah. Pretty sure we saw it as we were just like <clears throat> walking by and we saw the line out the door. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a stupid line. Yeah. And that's when you guys were like, all right, maybe later. Yeah. So it does exist. Uh, and yeah, I'll, I'll say you know where it is in the city. And uh, yeah, so he just goes, aside from that, no. Um, just yourself and your craftiness my craftiness your craftiness i don't know craftiness bring that do we have anybody there that's good with boats good with boats in what way um i have a role that i am executing in this uh in my on my current trip yes um and i'd be leaving them hanging if i just were to disappear so if there's anyone there with the skill, uh, I would have them come to me as I went to you. And ah. then I'd be able to follow them back to them and switch spaces with them when our work is concluded. Um, oh, there are many. Uh, the City of the Dead is a coastal city, so... Anyone but, friendly to you? Uh, well, here's the problem. The, um, the traveling boards are... Very rare, very expensive, and um, I don't want to lose any more, so I don't really want to send anyone else out with them. And then, then anybody who couldn't use one but still had the ability to come out there would, um, oh, well, how do you say, uh, immediately take over and consider all of your um, companions as uh, their underlings, and, well, you know how that goes. <laughs> Powerful well, there's the Order of Ovate. They're charged with transporting people. They could always just bring someone. They're more um, currently occupied with the defense. Fair enough. It was a big ask. Actually, you could ask uh, one of our agents in Garriott. Um... If you need a captain, a first mate, or a priest, you can ask Kelly. The one that killed you. Yeah, I'll send Kelly. Kelly could work. Okay. You want? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hold on, is uh, curious. You're good. He's watching too. 
Mm-hmm. Right I'll, send, I'll send Kelly and I'll be by soon. Sorry, what was that? I was going to say, if you wanted to stall for time, I can throw some maths down. <laughs> uh, now it's basically, uh, Derek, any questions that you have for Scratch? Anything that you want to know? This is, feel free to get as much lore dump as you want out of a guy who's been alive for the last thousand or hundred and twelve years, three months and forty two minutes, whatever the fuck Jason said at the beginning of the campaign. Since literally the events of last campaign. If you want to know anything. <clears throat> That's a huge question to have access to. Sure. How about you think about it? We'll go back to the ship. Yeah. So Okay, so I was back doing at the ship. Googling. Yep. Gran was doing some Googling. Sure. Um a I figure I am <clears throat> a little bit beefier than the average human. Probably. Being a warforged. Well, uh, so I took sheet? the weight of an. Oh, I don't even remember. One second. I don't even know if I ever actually put weight. You motherfucker! You should have. It's part of your character sheet, man. Two hundred seventy-five pounds. Okay, so you're a little thicker than most. I'm not that much bigger, yeah. but I but I'm I'm short is the thing. Sure. Okay, so I took the weight of a metal leg prosthetic instead yep. of an arm. Sure. Thicker, probably. Um, and then did a below the knee, because forearm. And those are about uh, four pounds. So then okay. I'll just add like two pounds, say yeah. five to six pounds. And that's all in total weight. So if you are wanting to do it just like material to yeah. prosthetic creation, it would be one call more. it five pounds. Yeah, call it five pounds to. Yep. one attachment um you're gonna need some wire and stuff like that mm -hmm. to make your circuits and stuff like that so keep that in mind uh it won't be a ton but you'll need enough i would just buy rock hopper yeah but yeah you, you could do yeah you could do all that so yeah just if you want to do that all right did you want adamantine or do you want to go with something else maybe maybe okay. maybe, maybe maybe we'll see um right away there's a couple of different I, options. You can you can get uh, adamantine, brass, bronze, cold iron, copper, electrum, gold, iron, lead, mithril, platinum, silver, steel, and tin. Jeez. Those are your options. Can you send me this list? Please? Yeah. Is it like on our wonderful friend website? Of no, unfortunately, it, no? Is, it is not on right. that website. All right. Uh, tin got a little bit cut off, so, um, sorry. All good. But you're probably not going to want tin. No. Because, uh, the AC on that is 12. Thank you. Yeah. All right, I'll look at this while people sure. are looking at other things. What else is going on on the ship? Vibin. Vibin. Okay. I yeah, I mean I had a whole lot of nothing prepared because we were about to leave. Mm. Are Fair. the prices listed there what you're charging per ingot? Yes. Is that okay. Um that Okay. Idea. Of those that are cursed that are on the yeah, ship. Gonna, it's gonna be way more expensive. Which this this list it makes it so much more expensive. I'm not doing yeah, adamantium, yeah. I'm just gonna fucking do steel. I don't care. Wait till we're loaded. Of yeah, of those again. that are on the ship that are cursed. How much hit points do you guys currently have? That's a terrible question. I don't like how you're 59? asking. God, I'm so glad I healed 48. 48? 71? Okay. Um, you're welcome, guys. Gran, while you're, while you're considering what you're doing, and uh, Merrick just hanging out doing what you're doing, you both fall unconscious. Oh, are we at zero hit points? Yes. Um, nope. Cohen... Remove 61 hit points from your current hit points. Do I, I don't even know what happened because they're so far away, right? Correct. Uh, 61, you, you said? Yes. So I go to 10? 
Yeah. Okay. You feel a sharp pain in your stomach and then a splitting headache. Okay. Uh, was there? There was no one else cursed on the boat, right? Uh, just Grandin and Merrick. They're probably back mm-hmm. and chilling by now. Oh, they're are they back yeah. by now? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I would have been at like a workbench area somewhere. Maybe if like I have a room, or if we have like a a workshop on the boat. It's a, a big. Workshop in the I mean, you absolutely yeah, do because one, right? one of you, one of you has been yeah. crafting shit nonstop, so you probably collapse right next to him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so I mean, I I would have just been up on the top, probably playing with my dice or something, just literally burning time. Yeah. Um. So I pro- I'll fall to a knee and kind of, Grand, M- Merrick. I saw you guys back here, and I'm gonna try to run around and try to find them. I don't know. Okay. How you want me? Did you want me to roll for that for time wise or something? Uh, no, you're good. So it just takes you like probably two or three minutes as you're running through the ship looking for them, before you come across uh, wherever I don't Merrick. Where would you have been before you? Uh, in a workshop out? as well. Okay. Uh, so them? you okay. you come into the workshop as, um. I forgot Jason's character's name because he's not logged in on Foundry, so I don't... Ven Varys? <laughs> it, it, it knocked me off. You're good. I can't reach you. Uh, so, Ven, as you watch in, uh, walk in, you see Ven Varys just tinkering with, like, his armor or something, like, over in the side of the workshop, just working. And probably about, like, five, six feet away from him, you just see Merrick and Gran both just unconscious on the floor. You weren't even going to help them? I thought they were just sleeping. I mean, you probably heard the thud from that one. It had to shake the whole boat. <laughs> I'm gonna walk over and start helping. Uh, yeah. Pick Gran. Okay. Whoever, whoever's closest, I'll just start helping them. Okay. Getting stable, and then I'll get the other one stable. Yep. Not hard. Or I guess um, actually, you can. You I can, can make I'll a just medicine walk check. over. I'll just oh. walk over and touch one with lay on hands for one, and yep. then lay on hands for one on the other. Okay. So. Doop doop. Because that it'll cool. still. Well, that does that work? I guess. Um, normally, it would round down, but you it, you can't get healed for. I guess you can get healed for zero. You'd also have to do one on yourself, just to make us all get one. It, you'd probably have to hit somebody for four so that everybody gets one. Mm. Okay, well, then I'll just I'll hit Gran for four. That's fine. Okay, cool. So then you, Gran, Merrick, all get one. Okay. And something happens with. Uh, Abby, but we'll deal with that in a minute. Abby gets one. Well, no, because he's in death saves. Actually, he's not. He's straight up dead. Abby has died. Soul detached from the, this mortal coil. Well, just and like, just like, you just oh, like Jason did. Ben Varus has <laughs> completely died too. I don't know what happened. That's fucking Attached weird. His, inter- his internet must be fucking shit in the bed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Aren't they getting hit by the. the Storm right now? The Arctic Front, probably. No, he's in Oregon. Uh, we're clear now, but we have ice storm warnings coming up. Got so. it. Yeah. But everything's still froze the last time, so it'll be fine. Yeah. I finally picked up my car today. <laughs> Wild. Yeah. Okay, so anything more from the ship? Welcome back. Um, I mean, I guess... I would just I would have random banter with them about what that was. What the fuck? What that well, was? I would tell yeah. them that you know. Did, did you, did tell did us you know that what that he was? May not be returning. Is that what I he mean, meant? Did he just die? Uh, if it if it he wasn't, might be dead, yeah. wasn't you two, wasn't me. Had to have been him. Shit. He said he was going to get cigarettes. I don't even know what he that did. means. He did say to go on without us if he didn't come back. He said, uh, wait a bit. I don't think he found those cigarettes. Well, that's very unfortunate. Wait, wait if he died, can we just head out now? I mean, he's a death cleric, maybe. Jesus you know, fucking Christ, man. Have some respect. He just died. <laughs> well, we don't know that for sure. I don't know about this new guy. I'll have some holy water and just kind of spray it around. And I like this new guy. Why Ven Varys has holy waters beyond me? <laughs> <laughs> I actually have two. Okay. Worry, I'm assuming for protection from evil and good. That oh, makes sense. Sorry, good and evil. Wrong spell. There you go. <laughs> it should be evil and good for the record. 
Wait, so is anyone else gonna die here? No, I I, I, I just hope not. Really need to go to sleep now. Mm. I would like oh. Yeah, I just thought of something really funny, but it, it doesn't work now. Okay, you know what? I will try and send a sending to Evie. To see if anything comes back, which I doubt it will. Okay, what do you say? Uh, well, uh, I hope you're not dead, but all of us just got hit with something big. So, reply to this message if you can. Okay, what Ebby will hear in the place that he is, is he heard, dead, big, reply. Uh, aside from that, there's no response. I mean, aside from that, you you, you don't get any response. But, Ebby, you No response? It must be dead. It? Yes, I thought, we it, was, I thought it was me ever. cutting my arm off. I just hold up half an arm. It, is that... That doesn't uh, hurt. Uh, n no, because I'm about to put this on. Hmm. Fancy. Wait. Wait, did you taking off your arm might have killed him? Like, did that one last hurrah to Wait, oh, life? did you kill him? Are you saying I killed... <laughs> <laughs> well, Wait, so like do we have a... Blame. Did he murder somebody? I don't know, but he's taking the blame really so. well. I'm much more sickly than Ebby, so I should have died before he did. What did Abby say to you when he was leaving? Uh, he did said he'd hope he'd be back, but to go in without him if he didn't show. Sounds like he knew something might happen. Yes. I don't remember. Did he tell us what he was going to get? Because he did say he wasn't going to lie to us. He said he was doing Grave Cleric stuff? Yeah, he said Grave Cleric stuff. He did say he was going to do some Grave Cleric stuff, so maybe it's normal. Maybe. Do we know anything about grave clerics? Like, like we... if they just die sometimes. Yeah, if they just. I mean, I'm Shatterkai, so do I know anything about them? Yeah, sometimes. Uh, sometimes Shatterkai would know a lot about them. Um, make a history check with advantage. Grand can make a history Ooh. check. Or religion, Sorry. either one works. If you want to use religion oh, instead of history, you can. Okay. Neither great. Uh, do you want to use my same role for the history or? Uh, well, you have advantage, so go ahead and go one more time for religion. Oh, yeah. I'm going to ignore the history check, because, yeah. Okay. Okay, so 19. And then, uh, Gran, uh, Woo. Shatterkai is a big word. What were you talking yeah, about? I've, I've been alive for, like, <laughs> four or five years. I don't, I don't fucking know, man. Merrick, uh, mm. yeah, grave clerics, um, they don't all come from the same place, you know? Just like how not all gun priests are the same. Well, okay. That's actually a misnomer. All gun priests are the same, actually. Because they all come from one so specific... Animals. Yeah. Yeah. They all come from one very specific sect uh, of the... Aethid place, yeah. Yeah. the Aethid's, like, her own, like... Uh... I don't want to give too much away, so I've got to be a little bit careful about what I say. Because mm -hmm. it wasn't a natural 20. Um, <laughs> you passed the check. It just wasn't a natural 20. So you don't get a ton of info. Uh, okay. Gun priests are... Uh, gun priest is gun priest is a gun priest. Because that they're all part of one small sect. Consider it like, you know, one particular version of Christianity. Whether it's like Protestant mm -hmm. or something, right? Whereas, you know, grave domain clerics can come from all over. Um, there, you know, you, you don't have to specifically come from one particularly, uh, ideologue, one particularly different direction, uh, per se. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know that they closely follow, watch over, uh, do their priestly bits with, um, generally people that are dying or dead or basically anything to do with the grave. They don't all follow any particular deity, uh, though the grave domain is Kalevna's. Um, 
you would know that they're not all of the same alignment. Some are good, some are neutral, some are evil, you know, the whole spectrum. And you would know that uh, while it is not normal to just die to see your god or person of your particular strain of your religion, it's not exactly unheard of. It has happened before. Uh, though incredibly rare, because who would want to die just to speak to their god? Because then you're dead. Mm -hmm. So it has happened. Could have happened here. You're not really sure? It seems incredibly unlikely. Yeah. Just because it's so rare. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You got so some questions, did. Derek? Or, like, you still need a couple more minutes. Um, I've got, like, one medium-sized question. Okay. We'll come back to you in a second, then. Okay. Uh, so what else is happening on the ship? So am I successful in making a grappling gun attachment? With well, not in ten you? minutes. It's gonna it's gonna take a while. Okay. Yeah. Like, I would a couple spend of the days of tinkering. Okay. I would spend the rest of the days doing Actually, first, I would I'd try to make like the actual grappling hook part of it that gets shot out of the the attachment and then sure try to find a way to permanently attach it to the rope of climbing okay uh one thing i do want to mention is uh keep in mind that when you're like on the seas or whatever and you're doing your actual job uh you will only be able to craft like in your downtime like you won't be able mm -hmm. to take like if i'd say it takes you 12 hours to do something you can't just be like okay i do that tomorrow you know like you're still have to do mm -hmm. your bosun duties so but currently while you're in dock or whatever like you're you're totally good i'm to the do. doctor uh really because on my notes i don't have you as the doctor i have you as the uh bosun wasn't i the doctor i thought we uh, kept i took doctor, the priest was Eddie. right 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 yeah we swapped, I remember now. Yeah, we made it priest, and I took it, and then I immediately left, before our boat even left the docks. <laughs> I need to... What was the bosun, bosun one, then? What did that do? Uh, doesn't that just mean uh, you're the guy that, like, see. creates shit to fix the ship? Oh, perfect, yeah. Bosun. So. Uh, repair and maintenance efforts. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So, it kind of goes hand in hand with what you're currently... Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, what you're currently no, trying no. to do, so... Mm -hmm. You know... There's that. But yeah, so since we're not moving today, I would have spent as much time working on that as possible until I get I guess become a sleepy boy. Okay. Yeah, that uh, you can do. Since we lost our surgeon, should we hire a new one? Uh well hmm. you don't yeah, know yeah. this, but that may be resolved. Mm. Unless you're no. not asking me and you're talking to the party, in which case... I'm talking I'm to the party the since we're oh. assuming that he died. Sorry, yeah. I thought this was Ask Jay Questions moment and then you just came oh, in with no. that. I thought you were talking <laughs> to me. I'm just going to shut the fuck up now. <laughs> yes, party, should we hire a surgeon since Abby is apparently dead? Um, I mean, didn't he have an under-surgeon? we just promote that guy for a little bit? Hopefully he comes back. Training him. Yeah. I don't think he had much time to train. Mm. I did. hired them yesterday. That's yeah. a good point. We did hire them yesterday. I think it takes over 90 days for them to actually learn anything. <laughs> I wouldn't really want him stitching me up as well. Especially just after 90 days. I mean, 90 days is a lot better than no treatment. And we could just hire a surgeon for 90 days to teach him. Either way. But, uh... If Abby's not going to be here, then we probably need to fill the position. It's kind of a big role. Since I think I'm going to bring them a solution, I don't want to let them get too far. Yeah, we, we'll get back to what you were... Um... Okay, yeah. Okay, so, back to the uh, 
shard of uh yes anyway uh so hold on my camera's going crazy sorry you're good <laughs> a little blurry at bits it's fine are you <laughs> you're fading in and out of reality it's perfect i'm here i'm just fixing it there we ah, go there you go um <clears throat> so we have encountered people here that have been corrupted by nithelios why yes so Nithelios is recruiting on both continents and why is he targeting the necropolis uh, did we provoke Nithelios maybe then we'll deal with him just needed to know I to be f completely fair, when I say maybe, I'm not saying yes, but, you know, maybe. I'm not saying it like that. I'm just saying I'm uncertain. It is certainly possible. It's also possible that it's completely unrelated. So he hasn't made his intentions clear. They just showed up and started warping souls? Uh, they just showed up at the City of the Dead and... Um, attacked yes uh I, I i don't know exactly this is very new it only happened a couple of days ago and i don't know exactly what the death toll is so far thankfully i don't think aside from those in the know that know about my soul stuff uh i i don't if Nithelios knows, then, well, that's probably why he attacked. If he doesn't know, then he doesn't know. It's entirely possible that he's getting us out of the way to do the same thing. Apparently, from what we've been able to discern so far in the last couple of days, he's an ancient entity that goes back several thousands of years and has been dormant in the astral plane. Despite the name Abyssal Monarch, I suspect he's not an abyssal creature at all. I suspect he's more astral in nature. Just... It's the vibe I get. You know? Your hunches are very good, sir. Well. I had good friends. They taught me the ways. Anyway. Um... My current leading theory, this could be completely wrong. I could be spewing bullshit right now, so keep that in mind. But my completely leading, er, completely possible bullshit leading theory is that Nithelios attacked us to put us out of commission for a little while, to do the same thing we were doing, to get more powerful quickly. We know that anyone who reads its writing will, as I mentioned before, become entwined in some manner with, with him. And maybe by inserting himself into our apparatus, he could infect more people quickly, quicker, as opposed to one or two per generation or century. It could be thousands overnight. I don't know. Do we have our agents in the field tracking down people from Nithelios? Or agent, potential agents of Nithelios? The rest of the nine are currently doing that, yes. Um, I will return yeah. and help with your efforts. Um, I have a technical uh, magic question. Yeah. Uh, I was cursed um, by, I think it was a puzzle box. What did it and look it like? Bound... <sighs> Can I describe it? Yeah. The one that, because I was standing there when they opened it. Yep. He goes, ah. Okay. <sighs> would, would killing me disable the curse? Uh, in a manner of speaking. Um, 
I really wish I would have known that before I had you speak to Kelly, because by killing you, it creates uh, a magical feedback loop that will recycle onto your whoever you're cursed with um, several times as the curse adjusts to the fact that now there is one less person cursed. When you go back to your body, you're free. You're done. Uh, anyone that was cursed with you, though, is going to feel some residual effects for a couple of days. So I can break the curse by killing them and resurrecting them. Um, the simple answer is yes. The more complicated answer is they're already getting feedback from what? How many people got cursed? Four. Five. Oh. Four. Wow. Okay. Um, let's put it this way. They're already getting feedback from one curse. If you were to immediately kill one more of them and then bring them back, uh, that feedback would go then onto the other two. And um, Oh, yeah. No, I would space it out. Right. Maybe, okay. Maybe make it look like an accident. Who knows? Just future-proofing. Right. Okay. Um... It, that it could certainly work. Um, I'm just just keep in mind that uh, when you take the next one's life, the other two will feel it, and it will. Interesting. Hurt. There, there could be some lingering effects. Uh, I would, I would space it out. Wait till the the feedback stops, then take another one out. Wait till the feedback stops. Take the other one out. Wait till the feedback stops. Take out the last one. <coughs> I think I've taken up enough of your time then. That I'll... could be interesting. What if you were to take another one out, then take out the other one and the other one all at the same time, and then cast your, your revive them each, back to back to back? I don't know what would happen. This seems like something we would do at our height in the necropolis. Would you like me to find the box? Um, if you could get that box to me. Uh, without damaging it or opening it, uh, that would be a great help. I could certainly use that for certain things. I'll see if I can barter for it. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna take my leave of him. Say okay. I'll like I'll see you soon, kind of thing. He, uh, he kind of nods at you and then turns back and looks over the the falls and see the ruined city of the dead and it heat shimmer turns back to the beautiful city that you saw before before he just sighs and the whole place turns to complete blackness says see you soon and whew, he's gone you're alone in the void Does Kelly bring me back? It's funny you ask, because um, she was told to wait one minute. And you find yourself jolting awake, gasping for breath, blood coughing up out of your, you know, lungs and all that stuff. Like, you look down, your wound is completely cleared up, but you're laying in a massive puddle of blood. Like, your entire body must have drained onto the floor in this room. Um, it's not quite sticky yet. It's only been a minute. It's still warm. It's oh, kind yeah. of like being in a really weird bath. She goes, Yeah. Was it fun? It was educational, to be sure. I have a message and a job for you. Ah, uh, what kind of job? I got a job. I watch. You have a new job. You're going to be in priest on a boat. Yeah. I haven't done that in a hot minute. What are you paying? Here's your Kalebna mask. Your payment is your allegiance. Oh, no, I got my own. Like, reaches back and, like, pulls off or pulls uh, her shirt apart for a second, like the back of it to give her some slack, and then pulls out a mask and just. <laughs> it's a porcelain mask. Uh, I'm sure the. People on the boat will pay you well, uh, pay you respectively, but I'll reimburse you personally when I return. I just need you to keep my 
bench warm. Okay. Also, I'm going to need your extra hands because we're going to go get some coffee. Okay. You see her, like, kind of jump off the high chair and, like, (laughs) clumber to the ground and, like, start stepping in the blood. You notice uh, she's not wearing shoes. Um, She is a halfling, a very short halfling. Oh, so she is a halfling. (laughs) That was my next question. Are you a kid or a halfling? (laughs) You see see her, like, hop down and start splish-splashing hairy feet. Um, And she's, like, think Hobbit, uh, only short Hobbit. And uh, she starts splashing through your blood and walks out the front door and goes... Man, you have any idea how long it's been since I've been outside? That so, happens to people in our orders. There was this guy back at the Necropolis who didn't go outside for 80 years. And the Necropolis wasn't even fully built. They built it around him. He didn't know what it looked like until he went outside. That's weird. He should get out more. She, like, turns around and, like, takes the two doors where the, like, the holes of the door is and, like, pulls some, like, copper wire out of her pack and, like, feeds it in there and, like, closes the door and, like, twists it to, like, hold it shut. But it's just copper wire, so it's definitely going to get broken. Somebody's going to break into it. She goes, all right, that'll be safe. Pretty sure they'll see the huge pool of blood and either turn around or know that it's not a place that they want to be. Oh, no, it's part of the show. We uh we have that kind of sort of thing all the time. I mean, not actual blood. Usually, we just have we like spray people like in the front couple of rows. You know, it's part of the play. If somebody gets stabbed. Like, what what kind of play doesn't have blood spraying out at you, right? A shitty one. That's the answer. The Players Actor Guild of Guar. <laughs> More like Gallagher, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go to Thunderbucks. I'm going to buy a coffee for everybody on the boat. Okay. Or all the all just the, the main, main guys. the main guys. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say guys. you got a hundred hands because uh yeah okay. Uh, the main the main guys uh, also Kelly uh, yeah. for for helping. Cool. She'll help carry. She and like then waddles I'll, I'll meet next them all to back you. to the boat. Okay. Yeah, she's tiny and she's just holding the tray above her head. As you're uh, as you're walking, um, after right after getting the Thunderbucks, you step out of the building. You, you had like a ten minute wait. The line wasn't that bad. It's long, but like quick to get through it. Um, you get outside, and just as you step outside back into the sun, you get Lauren. Uh, sorry, Merrick's message. Time oh, works shoot. differently in the shard. So I don't uh, remember exactly what he worded, but it was something along the lines of "Did like, you die?" or something like that. You can respond to this me. message. Yeah. Yeah. Do you respond? I don't. I can't. Can I? Yeah. You can respond to this message. On my way back now. Yep. Okay. Having just collapsed and all of that stuff that you went through and discussing, should we get a new doctor, blah, 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 blah. Suddenly in a rush, you hear uh, Ebby's voice on the way back now. It's weird because it's distinctly past the point of time where your spell would allow it to come back. Hmm. Well, I mean, never mind. I think he's alive. What do you mean? I just heard a voice in my head, in my head that said, "On my way back." And it sounded like Abby. Didn't you cast the? Oh, okay, I don't sure. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Well, Maybe we don't need a doctor then. Fantastic. Yeah, everything's great. We didn't lose a friend. Oh, holy water for the win. Yeah, the holy water worked. Wonderful. Cool. Well, good. Water Let's. For uh, the win. Shall we get ready to depart? And then when he gets here, we can leave. Uh, yeah, I'll go with everyone into shape. Okay. Go. Um, and we will come back after our break and see what you guys do with that. So, uh, everybody, get up, stretch, get a drink, have a smoke, do whatever you got to do. We will see you back here. <clears throat> excuse me, in about five or ten minutes. <laughs> 